Hey friends, it's your pal Rudy, and today I'm going to show you how I edit my audio drama, Have Spellbook, Will Travel, which is a fantasy comedy show based on the uh, Dungeons and Dragons games of myself and my co-writer, the wonderful James Intercasso. I serve as the producer, co-writer, editor, and one of the leads on the show. So, let's get right into it. First off, with naming conventions. Very exciting. But, when you make your show, you're going to want to make sure every single cast member, character, part, what have you, has the same naming convention. Just because it'll make it a million times easier to edit it all together. So, as you can see, this is very simple. S2-11, that is the name of the episode, and then the characters' names. Now, sometimes I have people playing multiple parts. Here you see one. I just keep them together. Sometimes I split them up. In this case, they were such small parts that I kept them together. You may have noticed, but I used Adobe Audition to edit all of my podcasts. Now, Adobe Audition is a hefty $32 a month, I think, at this point but it's what I learned and what I've used. I would recommend Reaper as an alternative. I would not recommend Audacity for editing this number of files. And this is just the raw dialogue files. This isn't even the many sound effects that I'm going to be putting in, and music as well. Okay, so we've got our tracks of all of our characters. What we're gonna do now is create a multi-track session, and we're just going to call it uh, the episode name. Have Spellbook Will Travel, that is the name of my show, Season 2-11. Uh, we're also going to make sure that our sample rate matches the majority of our uh, individual sound file rates. Cool, so here it is, here's our tracks. Uh, a lot of people do things like this, they rename track, like Dialogue, um, Dialogue 1, Dialogue 2, Maybe down here we're going to put an ambience, ambience track. I don't know if I spelled that right, Irie. I always forget. Meh, I think it's an E. We're going to go e. ambience. You might do uh, so SFX1, SFX2, and this just kind of gives you a layout for where you're going to be putting your things. So dialogue one and two, that's if you have people talking over one another or if you have multiple people talking at the same time, you'll do things like that. Again, you, you'll you kind of figure it out as you go. If you have the script in front of you, you should know when people are talking at the same time. So you might be dropping down to like dialogue five or six, whatever. Whatever workplace looks good for you. This is also the default workspace for, or the classic, I should say. There's a lot of different layouts that you can use. Um, there are some, so this one actually has an ambience track that you can set up. It shows you your history in case you want to go back. I learned on the classic workspace, so that's just what I use. Classic, basic, simple. That's all I need. Next, we're going to pull up our script. Now, if you have two monitors, then it's perfect to have the script on one monitor and your editing software on the other. It'll speed things up super quickly. Um, in my case, I use a uh, kind of theater or uh, play writing convention with this. Um, it's what I know. I come from a theater background. You might be using um, screenwriting style, which uh, I recommend a program or a free website called Writer Duet. If you want to write things that way, it's uh, again, it's free. It has collaborator implementation, so you can share your script with your co-writers and you can work on it simultaneously or separately. You don't have to work on it online, you can work on it offline and then once you go online, it'll all be updated. But that's uh, you know, that's another thing. In my case, it's easy for me and my co-writer, we just bam, write stuff in. So we have our script starts with wisely, character wisely and then character nurse talking to him. So we're going to go back into audition. We're going to find wisely. Uh, I think it starts here. Ouch. Watch where you put that thing. Yeah, so that's our first take, our first line, first take. Uh, you always want at least three takes, an A, B, C take, if you will. Little, little, little uh, VO biz lingo for you. Have that one for free. Ouch! 
Watch where you put that thing. All right, that one's pretty similar. Ouch! Watch where you put that thing. Okay, so you can see he kind of changed his tone towards the end there. That's what you want when you, from your actors. You won't always want to encourage them to mess with the timing, mess with the wording. You know, they're a tool that you can use as the producer, as the director. They might bring a different energy or a different thought process than what you originally had when you wrote it. So, good. We like this take most. What we're going to do is we're going to right-click and we're going to choose Insert into Multitrack. Ta-da! So here we go. Bam! First first line in the thing. What we're doing is we're building a timeline of the entire show. We're not going to drop every single character into their own track and then try and cut it together that way. It'll take way too long and figuring out the timing will be way too confusing. So we've got our wise line. Watch where you put that thing. Sounds good. Next we're going to go and we're going to find Nurse. It's perfectly fine. Nurse, I think this might actually be me. Perfectly fine, Prisoner Wisely. Yeah, what an what an awesome accent. It's perfectly fine. Ooh, I'm wow, gonna take was... these. Yeah, it's not good. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The pal, we're gonna put that in and we're gonna line it up. So. Bing. It's perfectly fine. So uh, there's some issues here, mainly with volume differences. James and I, who's played wisely, we didn't have the same equipment. We didn't record in the same place, so our levels are different. But that's okay. We're not going to deal with that right now. For now, all we're doing is a rough cut together. We're not even going to make sure it's like in like timing wise in place. We're just grabbing our lines from our script. We're piecing it together, pasting it together, and we're getting to the end. That's it. That's what we're going to do. And it's not hard work, but in this case, it's kind of long work. Fifteen pages. It's three thousand words um it's gonna be a while in general also just another bonus tip when you're trying to estimate how long your episode will be don't go by page number go by word count at three thousand words it'll be maybe um i don't know 20 minutes 22 minutes i think uh yeah you just you know that's a basic estimate as well our sound effects might take into place here we have some pauses written into the script so it'll always just kind of be a guesstimate that's not even counting you know your intro your outro your if you do mid-roll advertisements on your shows as well like we do then there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff so piece it together we're going to use the magic of video editing we're going to jump straight to the end when it's all put together um hooray I wish it worked like this in real life, too.